had to spin it, didn't I? <laughs> Good morning all and welcome to How My Trucking Life. I am CJC, if you didn't already know that. Where the hell have you been? We are just starting on Tuesday the 19th of December and um, starting a tad earlier than yesterday because we've got to go and do a bit of timber hunting when we get to the uh, factory this morning. Ah, that's better. First we've got to get this beast out of the way. Still parked in front of Cinderella. I thought he'd have been gone by today. By, by now, sorry. Right, freedom. Cinderella is free. Let's go and put the beast back in the uh, box, shall we? It's a rather beefier 470 Scania, this one is. You can tell by the difference in the engine tone already. A lot more, a lot more grunt than our cinders. Don't know how much you can see. We can get it tucked in. Leave her at the front, just in case anyone does happen to back in. They'll know that she's here at the front. While Cinderella waits patiently. Let's get back in, shall we? Ah, uh, don't worry, Cinders. It's not all about the horsepower. It's just the number. Ah, oh, so cute. <laughs> so, if you didn't see yesterday's vlog, today we are taking one of their company's trailers up to Manchester with those cages on. And today we haven't got an overhang, so we won't be needing our flashes. Alright, so there's a bit of a better look at what we've got on board. They go literally right to the end of the trailer. We've just pulled onto Stafford Services, got all the uh, straps retensioned, and I had a funny feeling I hadn't closed that half of my box. Not to worry though, it's not an issue. Ah, let's keep on going, shall we? Okay, we have arrived at our destination in the middle of Manchester. Uh, it's the former BBC building. I don't know if anyone's familiar with the area, but um, Circle Square is the place. I think what we're bringing is going to be helping to build stuff like that and stuff like that black building up in the air there. So uh, there's some nice old aqueducts there, which is pretty cool. We are just parked up outside for a moment while they I was going to say while they gain access to the site, but um, while we've been waiting here, there's loads of vans turned up and dropped stuff off, so it's a bit of a losing battle at the moment. We had to wait for two of the tippers to come out, and uh, now we're waiting for them all to finish with all these poxy vans that are showing up, and then we'll be getting them to bank us in because they're going to have to shut the road in both directions so we can reverse back past the gate and get in. It'll be nice and easy today though because we haven't got a big overhang at the back. So yes. Alright well the guy unloading me said it should be okay so what they're doing is taking them off placing them over on the back on some bearers or whatever using the uh, what a name is it massive crane here so yes it's a pretty impressive little place holiday inn express over there big train tracks there like the arches like in eastenders the big container ship running through the middle of the city so random and then you got the rest of the buildings here which is what is going to be uh, in this location i guess in the future so it's pretty cool, 
pretty cool because these are the smaller cages we're picking them up in fours keeping well out of the way obviously as a random man takes a walk on his roof <laughs> so surreal if you look on the floor let me point to him along here you'll see three circles well there's four actually and oh, there's one just here there you go that's where our cages end up so when you think about it there's some at that long vertical in the ground there they drill them in using those piling machines over there so yes it's pretty cool so we're going to get finished off now i'm going to pull up get my goalpost moved and then we're off to Brombra. Well, as that ship comes into port along the Mersey, followed by his little tug friend, we are loaded. Now you might think they've put too many on, but because it's a 40 millimetre, there's a lot less in each bundle. And um, yes, we're gonna go get weighed out and then uh, strap it up and get out of here. Down to Wentzfield again, where we was this morning collecting the trailer. Ouch. Oh, this is ridiculous. Welcome to home time. Oh. Am I even going to squeeze through here? There's only one way to find out. There's no way I can sit at the back there and wait for all these lot to come through. So you just use a bit of your skill. Oh, skill and judgment kind of uh, part the seas, eh? Part the seas. When they see you coming, they do kind of move across. There are some appreciative people out there. But I couldn't just sit at the top of that road waiting for someone to let me out because I'd have been there till tomorrow morning. We are just coming up to Dell Factor Limited. Big up the Dell Factor crew. These are the white vans I used to be driving way back before I was a lorry driver. There they all are on the left there, delivering plumbing and bathroom equipment to all those in need of some plumbing and bathroom equipment. <laughs> Cracking place to work for that was. All right, trailer dropped, no problemo. That's giving us half an hour to get back to the yard, so no problemo whatsoever. It all depends on what the traffic's like up here, but it shouldn't be too bad. And I can't edit this old DRF. Look at this beauty coming round the roundabout now. Oh my goodness me. That insignia just drove straight in front of that van. Good old DRF. Beautiful. Nice to see a classic. So that's it then, trailer's dropped, we've picked up an empty, it's back to the yard where we'll be getting the load ready for Reading tomorrow, uh, I'm guessing it might be metal frames, I'm not 100%. Oh
Okay, we are back at the yard now. Hopefully you're seeing this outro and not a different one, but you'll never know the difference anyway. Um, I've got some subscriber shout outs to do, time permitting. Um, hell of a lot, sorry I haven't done any for a while. Um, right, in reverse order, going from the oldest to the newest, we've got Kathy Ann Giles, Simon Guppy, Alan T, 7269 Good, Stefan Stevenson, Craig Smart, JJ Reaney, Gertz Banker, Buses in South of UK, Adam Jones, Misfit Drifters, Small Weights, Claire E, Speedy1980, Drown Jack, Stephen McCaffrey, Malcolm Baker, David, wow, I bet the original David, no numbers or nothing, nice, uh, Christy James, Dave Sharp, Martin Wickenden, Tony, uh, Tony Luff, Tony Luffnane, sorry if I've pronounced that wrong, I think I will have, Andrew Gordon, uh, Nels Boy, Lewis Partridge, Tony Fletcher, Peter Smith, Def Ender, Aline De Vries, Zoe Zangero, Christopher Whittingham, Erin Clark, sorry, Eric Clark, Cradle Rule 1666, sorry, Cradle Rule 666, Paul Wright, Philip Jenkins, All About Chelford, Lewis George Hansen, Paul Roper, Michael Curran, and Michael Curran, you're the last one in the list. Oh, sorry, I couldn't speak and read at the same time for some reason then, towards the end of that. So apologies if I've said your name wrong. Welcome you all to the channel. I hope you enjoy your stay. I'm off to get that load ready for tomorrow. We're going down to Reading. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you all tomorrow, guys.